Hello and welcome to this video on ordering negative numbers. Now let's first introduce what negative numbers are. We have a number line here and we have the numbers in order. So going 0, 1, 2, increasing in value in this direction. But what we could do is we could actually go below 0 and so we could actually have minus 1 here. Can you see that it's kind of symmetrical about 0? So if we go up from 0 it's 1, if we go down from 0 it's minus 1. And similarly as we go down further Look, we go 0, minus 1, 1, minus 2, 2, etc. And then minus 3, minus 4, etc. And that goes on forever as we go left. So we can go down to minus a million and further on. So as we go in this direction, we're increasing in value. And as we go in this direction, as the number just after the minus gets bigger, we actually decrease in value. And we can use that to order numbers. So let's say we've got these numbers here. We've got 5, 0, minus 8, 3, and minus one, and we want to put them in ascending order of value. So let's put some liners to put our numbers on. Now, which number has the smallest value? Well, it's going to be one of the negative ones because they're below zero. Now, to get the one with the smallest value, you want to be as far away from zero as possible. That means the number just after the minus has to be as large as possible. Well, it's minus eight. Minus eight is furthest away from zero. So we put minus eight first. And then we've got one other negative number, minus one, so it must be that one next. We're up to minus one and then zero, and then clearly three and five come after that. What about the second one? We've got minus six, four, minus five, minus eight, two, zero. So let's put some lines to put these on. Now it's gonna be one of these three negative numbers which has the smallest value, and remember we wanna be as far away from zero as possible to have the smallest one. So we want the one with the largest number after the minus, well that's 8 again, 8 is bigger than 5 and 6, so that's the smallest. And then 6 is the next biggest, so minus 6 is the next smallest. And then minus 5, and then we've got 0 again, and then we've got the positive numbers, so we've got 2 and then 4. So these are known as negative numbers, and these are known as positive numbers. Now questions they particularly like in exams is talking about temperatures of different cities and such. So we've got these different cities and we've got these different temperatures. This looks like it's in the height of winter. So we've got London is currently 3 degrees Celsius, Cardiff is minus 1 Celsius, York is 7 Celsius and Glasgow is minus 5 Celsius. So firstly we want to know which is the coldest city. Well, it's going to be one of the negative numbers, and we want the one which has the biggest number after the minus because it'll be furthest away from zero to the left. So we can see that Glasgow is the coldest. Cardiff has a temperature which is closer to zero. That minus five is much further away from zero. So the answer to one is Glasgow. What about the second one? How many degrees Celsius is London hotter than Cardiff? So we've got London, which is three degrees Celsius, and we've got Cardiff, which is minus one Celsius. Now, we want to see how many degrees hotter that is than that. So it's basically the difference between the two numbers. So let's look at our number line. We've got three here, and we've got minus one here. What's the difference between them? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, a difference of four. So it's four degrees Celsius hotter. What about question three? How many degrees Celsius is Cardiff hotter than Glasgow? So now we've got the Cardiff temperature, which is minus one Celsius, and we've got the Glasgow temperature, which is minus five Celsius. Now if we were to visualize these on a number line, we've got zero here, then we've got minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, etc. And now we can see we've got these two temperatures. We've got the minus one Celsius, and we've got the minus five Celsius. So let's look at the difference between them. We can see it's gonna be one, two, three, four. So we can see therefore it's four degrees hotter. So if the numbers are both negative, then the difference between them is just a difference between the one and the five. What about the last one? How many degrees hotter is York than Glasgow? So now we're comparing York, which is seven degrees Celsius, and Glasgow, which is minus five degrees Celsius. Now it'd be cumbersome to have to write the whole number line from minus five all the way up to seven. So let's visualize it a bit differently. We've got zero here, we've got seven degrees here, 
and we've got minus 5 degrees here, let's think what the difference would be to get from minus 5 to 7. Well, the difference from minus 5 to 0, you can see that we're adding 5. If we add 5 to minus 5, we get up to 0. And then from 0 to 7, we got another difference of 7. So in total, the difference from minus 5 to 7 must be the 5 plus the extra 7. So it must be 12 degrees hotter.